Hi, my name's Bruce Quinn, and I consider myself an advanced amateur with Zoom business meetings. I've learned how to use a fancy Sony ZV-1 camera that's separate from my computer. I've learned to use drivers and special software called OBS Studio to do fancy green screens and framing and graphics and saturation. However, this sometimes means that I'm the only person on a Zoom call whose video is out of sync with his audio, so I feel like an idiot. And I've learned how to fix that, but it took a long time. Yesterday, I did a 15-minute video that explains how to fix this in a very careful step-by-step -step detail. And here, I'm doing a two-minute video that shows you the same thing a lot faster, but it's exactly the same result. So let's get started. Here you've got your camera going through drivers and OBS Studio to get to Zoom. You've got your microphone going straight into Zoom. And that means that there can be a delay in the video signal so it lags behind the audio signal. And that means that you've gone to all this trouble to learn to use OBS Studio, framing, saturation, foregrounds, uh, fancy green screen special features, and yet you're the only person who looks like an idiot because your Zoom video comes after your sound. So the way we fix this is we insert one piece of software called Voice, software called voice Meter, and we give it a three or 400 millisecond delay, whatever works, and Zoom connects to that and thinks that's the microphone. So first you're going to go to VB Audio and you're going to find and install the basic virtual cable, the single virtual cable, and the basic version of voice meter. So I'm going to assume you have done that. Now we're going to very quickly take a whirlwind tour through voice meter and show how to set it up. I don't know how your voice meter is set up so we're going to start in a zero position. We're going to turn all of these A and B's to off. We're going to set all of the volume sliders down to zero. So we're starting from nothing. Go to hardware input in the first channel, set that to MME microphone on a Windows system. Then select the output as A and bring up the volume so people can hear it. In the second channel, select nothing or remove devices if they're selected. Leave A and B unchecked and set the volume at zero. The third channel is a virtual channel. I don't really understand it. You can't click on it and do anything. Leave A and B unchecked. Set the volume at zero. Now you're getting to the outputs. Um, in the A1 output, select that to be MME Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Do not use anything that says voice meter here. Use the independent virtual cable, VB Audio Virtual Cable. You're going to have to turn that up in A so people can hear it. There you go. Now the last thing you have to do is you click on the AB box and it gives you this option to do a synchro delay, an audio delay in the output A1. So we're going to click on that. We're going to change it to 300 milliseconds and close that. You're done. That's it. Now when you go to zoom, select the uh, cable output from here as your microphone and it will be in the microphone box at Zoom. So let's look at what we did. Um, if you want the 15 minute version, you can go to YouTube and find that. I'll link it below. It's the same thing, but explains very slowly. So here's what we accomplished and thank you very much for listening.